You never get frustrated by your spouse, do you? Well, some of us do. Let's talk about how to deal with a frustrating husband. Frustration has to do with unmet expectations. Now, as I introduce this topic, think about how that might affect your perception of your spouse. Frustration with husbands or with wives, either way, it could be a coworker or another relationship. We're specifically talking about husbands in this video. What is your expectation of your husband? If he is completely meeting every expectation that you have, guess what? You are not frustrated, are you? Your frustration comes from the unmet expectation, and that's something that you're creating and generating in your own mind. Having a more realistic expectation sometimes takes care of the frustration right up front, but I'll give you a few tips toward the end of the video about some specific things you can do as well. Let's start by understanding the nature of the beast. Who is this husband and what is he like really? Now, I know a few things about this because, well, I am a husband and I work with a lot of husbands. Maybe I should add Vicky on this episode to help give some insight into Dr. Paula as a husband. We'll do that in a future video, but for now, just go with what I've observed. Number one, husbands want to be your hero. Oh, they do. I'm thinking sometimes, just hand me that Superman t-shirt. I want to know as a husband that your life is better because I'm in it. And this is true for most of the husbands that I know. They honestly and sincerely want to be your hero. Dr. Scott Haltzman has done a lot of writing about couples, couple relationships. We focused on some of his work in an earlier video about how to overcome infidelity in a marriage. You can link to that right up here. Dr. Haltzman pointed out in a seminar that I attended this very thing. The thing that husbands want the most is to be seen as and to really be appreciated as a hero. Keep that in mind as you think about the expectations that you set up for your husband. Now let's go to the second point. Husbands, if you're a wife or a spouse, husbands don't think like you do. It's like a whole different language. I really love what Mark Gungor teaches about this. Mark is an amazing thought leader when it comes to relationships and he does some phenomenal work with couples. He had some presentations that really got a lot of traction not too long ago. You can link to Mark's video right up here too, where he introduces some of the ideas about how men's brains and women's brains are different. A tale of two brains. And Mark pointed out that the male brain and the female brain are not the same thing. And we think very differently. If you haven't noticed this already in your relationship, wake up a little. It's a different animal that we're dealing with here. How do husbands' brains operate? In, in a very humorous way, Mark points out that men like to handle one thing at a time, and he calls it a box, right? Like their mind is like a series of boxes, and you take one box out, and you be very careful not to touch any of the other boxes, and you open up that box, and we're only going to talk about the content that's in this box. When we're done with that, we'll close it up, put it back on the shelf. Women's brains, on the other hand, are more like this ball of wire that's just constantly processing everything and everything's related to everything else. And somehow the car is about my mother and the, and the man's brain just can't comprehend that. And Mark also talks about this thing called the nothing box. Anyway, enjoy Mark's content and remember that our brains are designed a little differently. Even if you have the same culture, the same language, the same background, 
There are differences in the way people process information and we all have our programming that comes largely from how we were raised. And by programming, I'm talking about very basic things, even like English. Here we are having this conversation in English. Well, it's not that we decided to have this conversation in English. It's just what we're programmed with. And there are other videos that you'll find here on YouTube that are in different languages and you don't watch those typically because you don't know the language. Well, that's programming. It's not that English is the right language or the only language. It's just the one that I'm programmed with. So it's the one that you're getting. In a similar way, our relationships come with all kinds of programming. And when you see your husband speaking husbandese, well, don't be too surprised. He's a husband. That's in his programming. And he may not speak fluent wife, at least not yet. But we can learn new languages, can't we? Keep that in mind. Now, the third point that I wanted to make as we understand the nature of the beast is that husbands sincerely want you to be happy and they want you to be happy with him. And husbands have a sincere desire to improve. You might think, well, mine doesn't. Well, yeah, I think he probably does. But husband, husbands get frustrated and discouraged as well. And then sometimes their behavior doesn't reflect what their true desire is which I think is for you to be happy, for you to be happy with him, and for him to sincerely and genuinely improve his own life and behavior. So let's take those three assumptions or those three points of understanding what husbands are like. First of all, that they wanna be your hero. Second, that they think differently than you do. And third, that they sincerely want you to be happy and to be happy with him. And let's build on that with a few things that we can actually do to deal with our frustrations. Now, the first thing that I would recommend is that you begin with gratitude. Lead with appreciation. If you will look for and find what you are sincerely grateful about already, the way things are, the way he is conducting himself now, and express that gratitude and appreciation to him, it does two things. It changes the energy of the interaction. All husbands, because they want to be appreciated, are going to respond favorably to your leading with appreciation. The other thing it does is it softens your position. It's really natural to see everything that could or should be improved. That is totally natural. The problem is if we're constantly focusing on what they could do better as opposed to what they're doing well already, it puts you in a position where you might be seen as a nag, right? And he feels more like you are criticizing him than encouraging him. That's why I want you to lead with gratitude, lead with appreciation and it puts him in a much better position to actually step up and do some things better. Now, as you lead with appreciation, you gotta watch out for something that's coming up, and I'm putting this in as tip number two. Stay in front of your butt, spelled B-U-T. Stay in front of your butt. You know how when you lead with appreciation, sometimes it, it might sound like this. Oh, sweetie, I am so grateful that you work so hard to provide for our family. But, all right, how did that feel? It's like, when you say but, it's like saying, forget what I just said, here's what I really mean. And he's going to feel it. He's not gonna hear the, I appreciate you for working so hard. He's gonna hear the what, the but, and whatever comes after the but. Stay in front of your but. Allow that appreciation to carry its own weight. As you transition from the appreciation to the request for change, use the word and instead of but. That changes the energy. Honey, I certainly appreciate everything that you are doing. And I've found this thing that I'd like you to work on. Okay, that feels different. And that's not necessarily the best wording, but you see where we're going with that. 
Now let's go to tip number three. And this has to do with men and women speaking different languages, with you and your husband having a different culture and upbringing and programming. Tip number three is give him a roadmap. Spell it out. Verbalize what it is that's going on in your mind. He is not a good mind reader, have you noticed? And I've been working on the mind reading skills. I got a PhD in psychology and I'm still no good at it. Probably your husband isn't either. So it's okay to spell it out for him and to give him a roadmap. Here's an example of how you might do that. Honey, I love it when you and then tell him what he does that you really appreciate. I love it when you make the bed while I'm in getting ready for my day. Love it. He might be completely oblivious to the fact that that's working for you. So give him a little heads up and that will reinforce that behavior because why? He wants to be your hero. You're just letting him know, oh yeah, you're my hero when you do that. I love it when you fill in the blanks. Another example, when you fill in the blanks, that really works for me. So it might be, honey, when you open the door for me at the restaurant, that really works for me. I feel like a princess. Awesome! Ding, 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 paycheck for husband. Right? He wants to be your hero. So you're giving him a little paycheck for that. Hey, honey, when you clear off the, the dishes after dinner, that really works for me. And be sincere about that. He will feel that. He will, he will be reinforced by that. This is like uh, the proper care and feeding of husbands, right? This is how you take care of his emotional needs in a way that makes it more likely he'll take care of yours. Here's another example of giving him a roadmap. Sweetheart, will you please fill in the blanks? Don't leave it to guesswork. He's a terrible mind reader anyway. You know what you want him to do, simply ask him to do it. Now, I've worked with a lot of wives who feel like this step invalidates everything that he's doing. Well, I just want him to know to do it. I want him to do it of his own free will and choice. Well, yeah, he will. My point is he's probably not monitoring that. He's probably got some other box off the shelf and he's thinking about that and he's not even connecting to whatever it is that you're hoping and wishing that he would do. Just give him a roadmap. Honey, would you please take out the garbage when you get home today? And then he's like, Oh, okay, that's something that I could do to be her hero. And that's what he wants to do anyway. Go ahead and spell it out. Give him an invitation and a roadmap. I'm convinced that as you apply some of these steps with a proper understanding of who this guy is and what makes him tick, probably the frustration level is going to come down and we get to have a little more marital bliss. Hopefully you found that helpful. We're putting together some other resources, a course on relationships specifically, one on powering up your own positivity, another one just for parents. Check the description down below and get hooked up with one of those products. The